Welcome back to the channel everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Glad to have you here. Today we're going to be doing a 14 by 14 gallery wrapped canvas. I had to start this over a couple times because I had a failed attempt with some old pillow paint, but let's give this one a shot. Today we're going to be using golden nickel azo. I really, really love this color. It's one of my favorites right now. It plays really well with other colors. Uh, I add it to a lot of my palettes. Um, it spreads out and makes it just a really beautiful orange. It reminds me of, uh, you know, the color of a sunset, I, I guess. And this one here, we have Folk Art Metallic Sapphire. I also really like this paint. It does really well. And then we're going to go in here with a uh, artist loft aqua blue really pretty color that teal turquoise look can't go wrong with that again one of my favorites just kind of drizzling the paint in circles going around and not filling in all the gaps, making sure there's some of each color showing. And this one here is an Artist Loft Metallic Purple that I'm using. This is Amsterdam Prussian Blue. If you know, you know. Prussian Blue goes good with anything. I could have probably just done the Nickel Azle in this Prussian Blue and come up with something beautiful, but you know, I always got to add a few more things. Looking pretty good. All right. Oh, also, the pillow on this one was a Valspar 2000 satin. Uh, usually I use uh, Glidden, but I was out and I had this paint laying around, but it ended up doing really well for me. So this is my cell activator here. We got three and a half parts Floetrol to one part Amsterdam titanium white paint and a few drops of Minwax pre-stained wood conditioner. And a lot of you have asked, but that's what I use for my cell activator. I have some Australian flow troll on the way, but it's going to be probably another couple weeks before I get it. And I, I haven't used it yet, so I got to run some tests. So I'm just trying to blow out some petals here for my flower. Not too worried about the cells because I'm more concentrating on the petals. Right here I notice I, I didn't get barely any cells so I'm just trying to coax a few of them here in the middle because I like the way these look with a few cells in the middle and then all the paint variation after I spin out. Let, let, we'll let that settle for a little bit and go in here and do some edits 
do some embellishing with my embossing tool. start drawing in some of these sections in between the petals I blew out to form the petals a little more. tool is great. I got it at the dollar store. People ask me about it all the time. Just trying to get that cell activator in the center to spread a little bit thinner so I don't have as much left over when I roll this out. Go in here and create some designs. If you notice, a lot of people have their own style when they're embellishing their paintings. Everybody has a slightly different way they do it. Uh, it's all pretty similar, but it's kind of like handwriting. Everybody's got their own certain style. Um, that's one of the things I love uh, when you look at different artists and you start to see their, you can kind of really notice whose art is whose. Um, even on just blooms because people kind of got their own things going a lot of the time so that's pretty neat I like to keep my designs pretty bubbly and fun kind of old school style hippie style Looking pretty good. I'm liking it so far. Just gonna try and get it centered a little bit better before we start spinning this out a little bit. Right? I again, this is a, a pillow I don't usually use, so I'm not gonna give it a, a full twirl on the get-go. I'm just gonna kind of ease into spinning this. camera went over don't worry I'll get it back up also I will be investing in some better tools so as I do these for the future I'll be able to give you guys a better display and lighting and everything I'm just recording off my phone right now and then doing some simple edits trying to get some content up for you guys that ask me and some of my followers that, that ask these questions um, just want to give you guys an idea of how I do what I do in real time because a lot of the videos I put up are just a minute long and what I'm doing here is sometimes you'll get little chicken pox that come up through the paints, the pillow paint, where there was an air bubble in, in one of the paints and, and it tries to seep up. So if you're real gentle, you can go through and try to clean those up somewhat. It's not necessary, but I always feel like I need to try and get some of those out of there. I don't particularly like how it looks. when those bubbles pop and you just got a little white piece sitting in the middle of all your color. I was a little thin on this side from playing around on the 
paint when I spread out my pillow so I'm just adding a little bit more also that side of the canvas that pedals a little short so I'm gonna try and set that side of the canvas off of the edge just a little bit where that paint is um, kind of lean some of that paint down there and then let gravity pull that paint or that pedal over to that side a little bit as I spin it try and stretch that flower out a little bit get a little more even or centered as much as possible it never works out perfect but hey it's an abstract flower we can't be mad at it it's beautiful I am really liking this Just trying to center it up a little bit. You can see it's off centered when I'm spinning because I haven't hung off that one side because I'm still trying to stretch that side out a little bit more. Um, it's not going to come all the way over, but as you can see, it, it did a pretty good job making a recovery, trying to, to get more towards the edge. Yeah, pretty happy with it. Looks pretty good. Let's take you in. Oh, those colors just blended really well together. It came out really beautiful. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel again. Please like, subscribe, and share. Appreciate you guys so much.